students, welcome to 60 out of 60 in Keset Chemistry 2025 series in just 200 days. So yes, we are, as you all know, have started a series where we are going to discuss our, and we are going to cover every chapter. We are doing going to do a lot of practice uh, questions. We are going to do PYQs as well as we are also going to attempt tests, right? So yes, nothing much is like nothing more than that is required to crack any exam. If we need to, we have already started well in advance and we are following all the steps to get a very good rank in this examination, right? So yes, in today's video, we are going to complete the one of the most high weightage topic that is coordination chemistry, okay? So this is, this will be the last part of coordination chemistry, a very small topic we'll be discussing today that is uh, metal carbonyls and few applications of coordination compounds, right? So yes, let's get started now. One more thing I want to tell you, please join our WhatsApp channel. It is very, very important so that you will be able to get access to these notes. You will be able to download the question papers, the solutions, the PDF form of these uh, notes. Everything is available in our WhatsApp channel. So please join our WhatsApp channel, okay? Where will you join? The link of the WhatsApp channel will be there in the description section of this video. Okay, so yes, now students, please sit with your notebook and pen as I say you in every day, every day class. So let us now, you have to note down all the important things that I'm going to tell and then we'll do some practice questions and we'll end this chapter today. Okay, so yes, now let's get started here. I have discussed this many times. So how, uh, how have we completed this chapter? I want you to revise in this way also. So in this part one, part two, part three, part four, I have done. In the first part, we have discussed Werner's theory. So one second, yeah. So in the first part, we have discussed Werner's theory and we have discussed some important definitions. In the second part, we completed nomenclature and isomerism. I tell that, uh, I think this is the most interesting part and easy part as well as scoring part. Next, coming to bonding theories, this is the most important topic of the whole chapter from where a majority of the questions are asked. And today we are going to do a small portion of this that is metal carbonyls and applications, okay? So applications questions have been asked very easy to score. So do not leave this topic. It's just, it will take some 10, 20 minutes to revise, to complete and then to revise it, okay? So let us do it. Coming to weight, uh, year wise weightage, so I can say every year two to three to four, I can say three to four questions you can expect from this chapter. Okay, now coming to part four, as I told you, there are two things that is metal carbonyls and applications. So first let us understand what is metal carbonyls. So metal carbonyls means homoleptic complex of metals and carbonyls. Okay, so there is, uh, you can see the examples here NiCO4. So there should be homoleptic. So we have already discussed what is homoleptic complexes. Homoleptic complexes, I want everyone to write down the definition of homoleptic in the comment section. If you have followed me in the first lecture, I have discussed it. Okay, so yes, now these are all homoleptic complexes. You can see there is only one carbonyl, one ligand that is carbonyl, right? So here also carbonyl. There can be CO2, CO8. This can be the structure Mn2CO10, CrCO6. So the thing that you have to remember is metal carbonyls means there will be only carbonyl ligands and metal, no other ligands, okay? Fine. Now it is very important to understand the bonding in the metal carbonyls, okay? How these metal carbonyls form bonds. So first of all, we know that coordinate uh, bond is there between ligand and metal. That is one bond which is present in, el all in every coordination compound. Now what extra bond is present in this metal carbonyls? So let us understand this one. So the first thing here is, uh, Okay, so this metal carbon bond in the metal carbonyls possesses both S and P character. That means what? If S and P character is there, it has both sigma and pi character, right? Okay, now see the MC sigma bond. Okay, the MC sigma bond. So, see first here, this is sigma bond, right? The MC metal and carbonyl sigma bond is formed by the donation of lone pair of electrons on the carbonyl carbon into the vacant orbital of the metal. So here you can see that this one is the vacant orbital of metal. Okay, so this green one is what? Vacant orbital of metal. Okay, and this one, this you, which you can see here, this is the lone pair of electrons on the carbonyl carbon. So this pair of electrons is present on the 
carbonyl carbon and this donates the electron to the vacant orbital of metal to cause a sigma bond right now how does the pi bond forms here the mc pi bond is formed by the donation of a pair of electrons from the filled d orbital of metal into the vacant anti bonding pi star orbital of metal carbon of the carbon monoxide now see for pi bond what happens this is a filled orbital of metal this is the filled orbital of metal and it donates its electron to the empty pi star orbital of carbon monoxide right carbon monoxide the so i hope this is clear once again let us repeat so in general in the co uh, coordination compounds there is a bond between metal and a ligand what is the speciality about the metal carbonyls there is not only sigma bond there is also a pi bond between them so now what happens the sigma bond for the sigma bond the carbonyl ligand donates the electron to the empty orbitals of the metal now for the pi bond what happens the filled d orbitals of the metal the filled d orbitals of the metal donates electron in the empty pi star orbital of carbonyl donates electron in the empty pi star orbitals of carbonyl okay so now you can see that there is what uh, we can say metal is getting some benefit of carbonyl and carbonyl is getting some benefit of from metal benefit means in the terms of electrons right so both are helping each other both are donating each other so that is why this is called as a synergic bonding or we call it synergic effect okay so in this way that is why this is little special about all other uh, like special from other compounds because of formation of this another extra pi bond okay so that is why these metal carbonyl complexes are very very strong complexes the bonding is very strong here okay that's all about metal carbonyls you just need to remember three points first point it has both sigma and pi bond okay second point the sigma bond is formed be between the uh, carbonyl carbon electrons and the empty orbitals of metal the third point the pi bond is formed from the filled d orbitals to the empty anti bonding pi star orbital of co okay fine now coming to the next one applications okay so applications are very very important from here questions have been asked okay so if you see the hardness so first application is the hardness of water is removed how it is removed by using edta so the magnesium so hardness if you know is caused due to magnesium and calcium ions so these ions forms bond with edta or form complex with edta and then they form uh, they, it is used in the removal of hardness of water then second one extraction process of gold and silver so when we want to extract gold and silver so gold especially forms complex with uh cyanide AuCN4 uh minus and then uh from here we can uh obtain the pure metal okay next it is also used in the purification of metal here nickel nickel is first converted to a carbonyl uh, to a complex compound NiCF NiCO4 and this undergoes decomposition to get Ni plus 4 CO and this is your pure nickel okay next one in the biology this is very very important so in chlorophyll okay there is a coordination compound it is chlorophyll is bonding with magnesium in hemoglobin we can find the red pigment of the blood which acts as a oxygen carrier is a coordination compound of iron okay similarly vitamin b12 uh, is also called as cyanocobalamin is a coordination compound of cobalt so you can remember here like this chlorophyll okay chlorophyll is with magnesium hemoglobin is with iron and vitamin b12 is with cobalt so from these three questions have been asked repeatedly so please remember these three important biological compounds which has coordinate which is made up of coordination compounds okay next coming to the next one it is used as a catalyst you can remember the example this is a Wilkin wilkinson catalyst the structure is like this it is a very good catalyst used in different reactions next coming to in black and white photography the developed film is fixed by washing with hypo solution which dissolves the undecomposed agbr2 complex ags20323 minus so here you can remember in photography to convert the films into photos we need the ag is there which forms a complex and then it comes out from the photos next coming to edta again 
it is used in the treatment of lead poisoning and you have for tumor for the treatment of tumor we have cisplatin which is again a com uh, uh, cisplatin is a co coordination compound of pt nh3 whole 2 and cl2 okay fine so now coming to the next one some questions we will solve and see so okay metal which is present in hemoglobin is also present in so in hemoglobin which metal is present iron right okay tollens reagent we know it is silver is present vitamin b12 just now we discussed cobalt cisplatin is also cobalt right sorry cisplatin is platinum sorry sorry platinum so if you remember sodium nitroprusside it contains iron metal right the correct answer for this question is option number d so now how tricky the question is if you do not know what is hemoglobin coordination compound and if you do not know these options then you cannot answer this question right so these three you must be knowing this one we can easily guess next lead poisoning in the body can be removed by so edta helps in this edta forms in the form of calcium dihydrogen salt okay option number a so now we'll do some okay this is the question that i discussed in the last i gave you as a homework in the last class so let us see its solution so you have to tell which uh, isomerism is there okay so if you see here no2 is there NO2 is an ambidentate ligand, so I told you if ambidentate ligand is there, then blindly we can say that it can have uh, linkage isomerism, right? So you can see there is no linkage isomerism here, I can eliminate this option, okay? Now coming to, this is what, so what are the other options? Ionization isomerism is there, geometrical and we have, um, okay. So now what type of metal is this? If you see it is MA4 b2 type right so ma4 b2 can have cis and trans right so that means it is having geometrical isomerism so here there is no geometrical isomerism we can eliminate this option here there is geometrical there is no optical so we can eliminate this one so correct answer will be answer number c now you can see how we are getting ionization isomerism so if i write this molecule cr nh34 NO2 whole 2 Br. Okay. Now what I can do? I can just exchange one ion here. So I'll get Cr NH3 whole 4 NO2. Then I have Br and then I have NO2. Right. So correct answer for this question will be option number C. Okay. Fine. Next, we'll do some PYQs. Which of the following is an organometallic compound? So, when it is organometallic compound, it means you have some metal, okay, bonded with some organic compound. Metal and organic compound. Okay. So, now you see, uh, if you see here, this one, your Grignard reagent, okay, CH3, CH2, Mg, Br. Okay, so this, why, why can't this is, uh, why is this not, uh, uh, if the question is there, then I can say this is not bonded to carbon, oxygen binds with sodium here, right, organic compound means the carbon should bind with metal, okay, so here also oxygen binds, here also oxygen binds, here only carbon directly binds with the metal, so the correct answer for this question will be option number B, okay. Next, CO is a stronger ligand than Cl minus because, so just now we discussed CO has some special property that it forms sigma bond with the metal, okay, and it also forms pi bond with the metal, right, sorry, so that is why it is more stable, so because CO has pi bonds, okay, correct answer is option number B, okay, next, select the most stable complex, so you have to remember, for more stable complex, we need more number of more number of chelating ligands right what is chelating ligands these are those ligands where there can be a cyclic ring is formed right so here you see there is no chelating ligand here there are two chelating ligand here there is one chelating ligand and here there are three chelating ligands so number of chelating ligands is more stability is more the correct answer for this question will be option number d okay next 
coordination compounds have greater importance in biological system in this context which of the following statement is incorrect okay so now carboxypeptidase a is an enzyme and contains zinc so this is correct okay just uh, where we have written the list of compounds and the metal present in them there you can add this one also carboxypeptides a is an enzyme which has zinc okay then hemoglobin contains iron that is also correct cyanocobalamin uh, is vitamin b12 which contains cobalt this is also correct next chlorophyll contains calcium this is wrong because chlorophyll contains magnesium okay the correct answer for this question will be option number d okay incorrect statement we need to find so be very very careful when it is asked incorrect or correct okay fine next if we see uh, in feco5 the fec bond possess sigma character both sigma and pi ionic character and pi character so we have seen this is a metal carbonyl right and in metal carbonyls there are both sigma and pi bonds so the correct answer for this question will be option number b okay next how is the met okay so this is a question that is a homework for you what we have discussed today so how metal to carbon pi bond is formed so which orbitals are involved in the pi bond formation so the first option is donation of electron pair of half filled metal d orbital to empty bonding pi orbital of carbon empty bonding pi orbital of carbon co so these options you can read and then try this question and do not forget to comment down the answers okay so yes students that was the end of this chapter end of this lecture so we are done finally with the inorganic chemistry also with the end of this coordination chemistry chapter okay so i hope you would have understood all the concepts you have really mastered this topic and you would have solved all the questions that we have discussed okay so do not uh, waste your time now start your preparation from now so that you can hit that perfect 60 score that we are targeting right so yes uh, in the next video we'll start with organic chemistry okay so that is uh, another big portion that we have to complete five chapters are there so keep learning every day and do not forget to subscribe the channel if you are finding this series useful for you okay so keep studying hard keep smiling and all the very best for your kset 2025 preparation thank you and see you soon in the next class